Welcome to Deep World Updates, subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Breaking news from Le Bourget, at the 2025 Paris Air Show, a new king in aviation has emerged. A dark shadow loomed over Boeing, once the pride of American aerospace. Instead the event became a public coronation for Airbus which dominated with billions in deals. Airbus celebrated unveiling its wing of tomorrow and promising a greener future. Boeing's presence felt defensive, haunted by years of crisis. Airlines are making decade-long bets and right now they're betting on Airbus. The game has changed. Boeing's era of dominance is over, at least for now. The aviation world came to Paris demanding growth, stability, and above all, reliability. Airlines need planes that fly safely, efficiently, and on time. Reliability is now the battleground between Airbus and Boeing. Innovation is the second front. With fuel costs rising and environmental rules tightening, efficiency is everything. Cleaner, more advanced planes are cheaper to operate and more attractive to airlines. Airbus and Boeing once shared a comfortable duopoly, but that era is gone. Boeing's reputation was shattered by the 737 MAX disasters and ongoing quality issues. They arrived in Paris weakened, not as leaders. Airbus meanwhile capitalized on Boeing's missteps with steady innovation and consistent delivery. Its A320neo family has become the gold standard for single-aisle jets. While Boeing was mired in scandal, Airbus quietly built a commanding lead. The Paris Air Show didn't cause this shift, it simply made it undeniable. Airlines are no longer splitting orders, they're choosing sides. And right now, the smart money is on Airbus. The duopoly is broken, Airbus is pulling ahead. The air show's defining moment, a $21 billion order for Airbus jets, led by a major Middle Eastern carrier. The signing ceremony was a spectacle, CEOs shaking hands, cameras flashing, and a clear message to the market. This wasn't just a big order, it was a strategic victory, locking in a key customer and signaling where the industry is headed. Throughout the week, Airbus racked up over 400 aircraft commitments from airlines worldwide. Their entire product line, from the A320 family to the A350, was in demand. Meanwhile, Boeing's order book was painfully empty. No major announcements, no celebrations, just quiet chalets and missed opportunities. Boeing's sales teams tried, but airlines weren't convinced. The risks, production delays, certification issues, safety concerns were too high. Air shows are a barometer of industry health, and this year Airbus left with momentum and trust. Boeing left with questions. The $21 billion headline isn't just a number, it's a transfer of market share and trust. Airbus's dominance is now undeniable. The industry has chosen its champion. Boeing's troubles didn't start in Paris. They've been years in the making. The 737 MAX crashes shattered trust, exposing a culture that put profits over safety. The global grounding of the MAX was a humiliating blow, and investigations revealed deep flaws. Since then, Boeing has faced a cascade of quality control problems, Dreamliner defects, 777X delays, even military setbacks. The pattern is clear. Boeing is reacting to crises not preventing them, the result? A dramatic loss of market share. Airbus now dominates the single-aisle market, outselling the MAX by a wide margin. In 2024, Airbus delivered over 700 aircraft. Boeing, just over 400. Airlines that once flew all Boeing fleets are diversifying, turning to Airbus for reliability. Regulators are scrutinizing every move, slowing production and certification. Passengers remain wary, especially of the MAX. Boeing faces a perfect storm of regulatory pressure, airline skepticism, and public distrust. At events like the Paris Air Show, that vulnerability is on full display. Airbus's dominance is built on technology and execution. Their jets are more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly, thanks to steady investment and innovation. The A320neo family delivers 20% fuel savings, crucial for airlines battling high costs and emissions targets. Airbus brings new designs to market on schedule, 
like the A321XLR, which opens up new long-haul routes with single-aisle efficiency. Boeing, meanwhile, is years behind with the 777X, frustrating customers and damaging credibility. Airbus's A350 is already flying, while Boeing's wide-body ambitions stall. At the Paris Air Show, Airbus showcased its zero concept, aiming for zero-emission flight by 2035. They're testing hydrogen propulsion, signaling a bold vision for the future. While Boeing fixes today's problems, Airbus is building tomorrow's solutions. This technology gap is widening, airlines want proven future-ready aircraft, and Airbus delivers. That's why they're winning the skies, Boeing is left playing catch-up. Airbus's production machine is humming. They're ramping up to 75A320S per month by 2026, expanding globally, even in Alabama, Boeing's backyard. This reliability lets airlines plan with confidence. Airbus's strong supplier relationships keep assembly lines moving even during global disruptions. Every plane delivered cements their market lead. Boeing, in contrast, is plagued by factory floor fumbles, quality lapses and repeated delivery halts for the 787 and 737 MAX have become routine. Airlines face costly delays, forced to keep older, less efficient planes flying. Problems range from fuselage flaws to de-icing issues, symptoms of deeper manufacturing breakdowns. These disruptions strain suppliers, frustrate customers, and invite regulatory scrutiny. While Airbus accelerates, Boeing is stuck fixing problems. The production gap is a critical weakness for Boeing, it's letting Airbus pull even further ahead. The clearest sign of Airbus's rise? Airlines are switching sides. Longtime Boeing customers like Air India and KLM are now placing massive orders with Airbus. KLM's move to replace its 737S with A320neos sent shockwaves through the industry. Turkish Airlines and Emirates are also leaning heavily toward Airbus, frustrated by Boeing's delays. These aren't emotional decisions, they're pragmatic business moves. Switching fleets is costly but airlines are willing to pay for reliability. Each defection is a blow to Boeing, risking decades-long relationships. The trend is global and accelerating, airlines are voting with their wallets. The industry landscape has fundamentally changed, Airbus is now the preferred choice. The Airbus-Boeing battle isn't just about planes, it's about public trust. Boeing's safety scandals have damaged its brand. Many travelers now check the aircraft type before booking. Some avoid the 737 MAX entirely, regardless of statistics. This perception problem creates headaches for airlines who don't want to fly planes passengers fear. Media scrutiny and regulatory pressure amplify every Boeing incident. The FAA, once close to Boeing, now takes a tougher stance, slowing approvals and oversight. Airbus, having avoided such crises, faces less scrutiny and benefits from Europe's strict environmental rules. Their newer jets are more fuel efficient, making them cheaper to operate under emissions regulations. This gives Airbus a built-in financial edge in key markets. Ultimately, trust is the industry's currency. Right now, Airbus leads in trust with airlines, passengers, and regulators. Boeing's recovery depends on rebuilding that trust, a long, difficult process. Until then, it will remain at a disadvantage. The public's perception is now a powerful force in the skies. The 2025 Paris Air Show was a brutal wake-up call for Boeing. Is it game over? Not yet, but the challenge is immense. Boeing has a century of history, deep talent, and global reach. But this crisis is systemic about culture, quality, and trust. Recovery will require a fundamental shift, prioritizing engineering and safety over short-term gains. Leadership must empower engineers, foster transparency, and commit to long-term change. In the short term, Boeing must stabilize production and deliver on promises, getting the 737 MAX and 787 back on track is step one. Certifying the delayed 777X is next. Success would signal a turnaround, failure will deepen the crisis. Meanwhile, Airbus is locking in customers for the next generation, the clock is ticking. Boeing must act fast to reclaim its place. The world is watching to see if this fallen giant can rise again.